Hello and welcome to today's reading. This is me, Trina Cameron Thomas, Intuitive Mind and Body Coach here for business women, helping them raise their vibrational health to supersede and support rapid business growth. So this is me today. I really look forward to doing these readings and I don't want them to stop. If you really resonate with these readings, and remember these are generalized and for entertainment purposes only, but if you like them and they resonate with you in some way then please do like comment and subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the notifications button because that is gonna bring a notification through for when i release a video um also share it on with your friends too so today's video i'm not going to do an inside out today i just had one card for the collective at the moment there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of energies a lot a lot of laughs um maybe it's not funny to you <laughs> um but there's a lot of stuff that's coming up right at this moment there's a lot of planets i know that have been converging however i'm not massive um what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not a massive expert on planets and stuff like that. Go and find an astrologer. There's some amazing ones on here. I'm just trying to think of her name off the top of my head. I can picture her. Uh, Pamela Gregory, I think that's her name. Amazing, amazing woman. So uh, yeah, go follow, you know, if you're, you know, looking at what's happening with the planets, but I know that there's a lot of big stuff going on with the planets. I know earlier on this week, we had a full moon. Uh, I think last week, Jupiter and Neptune were um, converging or something. Um, but anyway, there was a lot of stuff going on. And you might have felt it in your physicality, headaches, maybe feeling sick, not feeling very well, feeling discombobulated. Me and my friend have discussed this and we love that word, discombobulated. Um, so, yeah, we might have felt discombobulated, like we're not here, like we're completely disconnected, like, um, like we're very ungrounded and then, then we are grounded and then grounded and then grounded. So we might feel um out of sorts a little bit we might feel like the world's gotten away with us you know we, everything's getting away and we've got all these wishes and all these wants and all these desires and all these things and that may bring on a sense of feeling quite down feeling quite anxious feeling quite you know not knowing what's going on and in those situations, we can feel really, we don't know what to do. And, you know, sometimes we don't want to reach out for help for what to do as well. Because we've got one card today, and that card today from Chris Ann's um, amazing Lightseer's Tower, it's called, from Hay House. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but I just love these cards. They're so beautiful and I just feel like they need reading. Um, the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords, she's on a boat and you can see the birds are pulling the boat. She's not pulling the boat. Behind, behind her, she has a way to change direction. She can change direction. I've got a feeling that this is all about boundaries. Boundaries. Oh, yes. But it's not about telling other people what to do with their boundaries. It's basically about what you want, you know, what you will put up with and what you won't put up with. This is about your boundaries. You know, yes to that, no to that. Yes to this, no to that. And it seems like you're not taking action or direction with your boundaries and you're allowing other things to pull you away. Pull you away into some deep kind of depression or deep sense of feeling. It's not a horrible card, right? <laughs> I really want to get that. I always like looking at colours on cards. And... Um, you see, because I'm quite a visual person, 
And you see here, she's wearing this red shawl and the shawl is around her heart. I feel like there needs to be some form of heart healing in some way. Some form of heart healing that is going to help you create those boundaries. You know, that is going to help you. You know, sometimes it's difficult to create boundaries, isn't it? Because we're afraid and we're afraid, you know, we lose people, friends, family, loved ones. But we're hurting. We're hurting. So how do we change the tides? How do we change direction? How do we change course? And, you know, she's got a rower in there. She's not got, you know, like a, what do you call it? An engine where it's easy. She's got a rower and she's going to have to have some mental strength, some courage, some clarity. She's going to have to use her strength to move, to move out of that position, to move out of her own way. And that might take asking for some help in some way. Maybe, I don't know, maybe helping coaching, maybe helping, you know, someone in your life who you know, who can help you, you know, gain those boundaries in some way. You know, if you really, really, really find it difficult, maybe you need hypnosis, maybe you need, you know, therapist, maybe you need, you know, a different type of professional. Maybe you need someone right at this moment in time who's going to help you move through and move forward and move on in your life in a strong, dependable and courageous way. Because that's what you are. You're really courageous. You're really amazing. And sometimes we just don't see it. Sometimes we have to like kind of wade through stuff to get somewhere. But you can do it and you have it. But it seems like, looking at this card again, is that she's resigned to this feeling, resigned to the fact of um, not having those boundaries, resigned that that this is the way it is. This is the way it is. I do these things for these people. This is the way it is. But, uh, you know, it costs to something. It costs to your health, it costs to your life, it costs to your business, it costs to something. And it's not helping you feel great. And then you're starting to feel lower and lower and lower. And you may be overthinking because swords are all about our thoughts. So we may be overthinking stuff all the time until we say something. But sometimes if we leave it too long, we can say in a rage, hey, what you think you're doing? <laughs> When we don't, or we connect to, you know, our child, uh, or we go through a sense of healing in some way, and we learn to articulate in a different way. Maybe you need crystals to do that. Maybe you need something else. Maybe you need the power of love. Maybe you need, you know, to go out on ground and then come back. Maybe you need to do some self-Reiki. When was the last time you had Reiki? Maybe you need to do some EFT. Maybe you need to emotional freedom technique if you've not heard of it. Maybe you need to do some EAM, so energy alignment method. Maybe you need to tap into some kind of spiritual growth in some way or some spiritual health in some way that is going to enable you to pick up that strength and move around. Now, that could even come in physical strength, too. So you may need some physical strength too. What is going on with your physicality at this moment in time where you need some physical strength? Right? Are you hearing this right now? Because you're going to do amazing. Whatever you decide right, is your decision. At the end of the day, it's not my decision. It's not your mum's decision. It's not your life's decision. It's your decision at the end of the day. But if you ask, you put it out there and you start creating boundaries, even in small, tiny ways. Remember, the compound effect, I think it's Darren Hardy, if I'm correct. The compound effect, taking small little steps, breadcrumb steps, you know, to create boundaries in different areas. You know, it might be that you go somewhere and you think, you know, I've had really not great service, I'm going to say no, as in the UK, we're quite uh, 
very polite, very polite. We hate complaining. So, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to complain and you feel really awful. I know I did that recently. I was like, oh, my God, I feel so awful. I like complaining. I'm like, no, I had plastic in my food. <laughs> no. So I told them, I was like, you know, I've got plastic in my food. Um. So, so yeah, you know, sometimes we have that feeling, oh, we're going to go and feel really bad for doing this type of thing. But, you know, small steps in creating boundaries. You don't have to create massive ones straight away with people, you know, that you really dearly love. You know that by creating those smaller ones, it's going to help you build that kind of mental strength, that mental attitude and change cognitively, change the way we kind of step up and stand up. Now, doing the physical aspect and working on your body in a physical way is going to give you even more of that. If you've got the posture as well, even give you more of that confidence as well because it. Um, I think Tony Robbins does that, you know, the posture confidence. And it does. It, it literally changes how you feel in state. So, so there are the things to think about this week is, well, this weekend is healing your heart in the way you know how, whether it's spiritual, physical, or life, or emotional, okay? You will know what to do. The little tiny breadcrumbs of creating boundaries, little tiny breadcrumbs. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, that, that doesn't make me happy. I'm going to say that. That doesn't, no. No, I can say no to that, and I can say no to that, and I can say I disagree with that, and I disagree with this, but just small ones to begin with. See where you can do small things where you where you are putting your boundaries in, and then work your way up. Now, for some of you, you are ready. You are ready to go, eh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> and have that discussion with someone you are ready. But for some of you, it might, as I said, it's those breadcrumb steps, looking after your heart. You are being called to go in some kind of healing in some way, whether it's uh, any modality that you know, or maybe it's a new modality as well, but it's definitely all based around thoughts, thoughts, thinking and feeling. Okay. So you have the strength, you can back it up with the physical side too. So speak soon. Bye.